Hello, people. I am Jabby Kawai, joined by Achara Kirk. Hey there. We got a Desi. What was that? Hello people, I am Jabby Koei, joined by Achara Kirk. Hey there. We've got a Slave Point video here. It's called When They Day See Visits California, USA, San Francisco, and Los Angeles. Whoop, whoop. My home. I wanted to share with you a comment that Slave Point left on one of our reactions before we get into this reaction. It was on the video. Slave Point, why Indian comments section is garbage and who has been It was a dual reaction if you guys haven't seen the video yet. I had mentioned in the video, you know, I don't think Slave Point likes us. I think they uh, maybe uh, have an issue with us, but uh, here we go with this reaction. And they commented on the video. They said, hey Jabby, we do not dislike you at all. Monkey eyes covering the eyes. Uh, monkey eyes? Monkey covering the eyes. Two years ago, we'd spoken about reaction channels that do not add any discussions while reacting and you're certainly not one of those. Thanks for reacting to our video. Happy face, stay safe. I since have like communicated with them, I think on Instagram or by email or something. Email, I forget. It was, I okay, one of those. I, I told them if they ever wanted me to collaborate with them, I'd be happy to. So if you guys want to see anything in particular, comment below and let us know, mm -hmm. Jabby and Achara know what you'd like to see, what your ideas would be if Jabby and Achara or just Jabby were to do, or just Achara. I made this stupid complicated. Were to do a collaboration of some kind with Slay Point. But any case, uh, we are looking at when a Daisy visits California, USA. Here we go. And thank you, Slay Point, for allowing us to react to your videos. Yes. Very, very much appreciated. North Pole के लिए तैयार हूँ मैं। हमने इतने स्वेटर पेटी नहीं आ रहे। तो ट्रिप कैंसिल कर दो। अरे नहीं नहीं बहुत जगह है। कहो तो आपके भी दो चार ले जाऊँ। what is this? 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 Hello? Mahila airplane? <laughs> oh, stop roasting her over her hair. Oh. In business class? Hey! So guys, we have reached Dubai and we have reached Dubai. Oh, God. It is a dream of mine to fly business class or first class. My parents told me that there is no need to be able to do it at night. What are you doing, Mommy? Let's go outside. Mommy is saying that there is an auntie who is coming to her house. She can go to her house. So what do we do at the airport for 9 hours? This mask is very important. But all the masks... <laughs> what? <laughs> Dang, I've never had a. I specifically choose my flights to not have nine hour layovers. Get a Nintendo Switch. No, I'm Watch three Indian movies. <laughs> what does that mean, big guy? I don't know. <laughs> So you paid for the flight, it's not free. <laughs> what kind of sneeze was that? <laughs> oh, it's definitely epidemic sound. 
है इंडिया स्वामी विवे खमन तो इंडिया की तरफ से हम यहाँ आ गए इक्वल एक्सचेंज हो जाते बेडरूम जितना बाथरूम पर एक जेट स्प्रे ना फिट कर पाए व्हाट द हेल? ओह या। एक ना एक दिन ये जरूर चलेगा रिचेस्ट यूट्यूब स्टार हु यूट्यूब को कब खरीदोगे कंपनी खरीदते ही हमने फुल ऑन काम शुरू कर दिया तो काम कर करके सारी घूम गया यार देखिए इस फेक इंसान को इंडिया में कभी पहना नहीं है और यहाँ पे बहुत सारे क्रिएटर्स हैं यहाँ पे अलग अलग कंट्रीज से और इंडिया से सिर्फ हम ही दोनों हैं तो हम आ चुके हैं गोल्डन गेट ब्रिज जो बिल्कुल भी गोल्डन नहीं है का फेवरेट ब्रिज उनका बहुत मन था कि ये भी वो अपने गले पे पहन ले वैसे लास्ट टाइम तो हमारी ब्रिज पे फट गई थी तो हम फिर से आ गए क्योंकि हम इतने बड़े गधे हैं बट यहाँ से व्यू काफी बढ़िया है वहाँ पे एक जेल भी है जिसकी टूर होती है पर पैसे दे के जेल घूमने जाना दे के नहीं हम आज इट्स एक्चुअली फाइन हमें नहीं पता हम सीधा यही आ गए जहाँ लोग आते हैं इन्हें देखने अगर सिर्फ मोटे आलसी जानवरों को पसरते हुए ताले घर बचाने से ज्यादा इश्क बचाने के लिए यूज हो रहा है आज कल हमारे रेस्टोरेंट में ऐसे बुलाया जा रहा है अंदर बहुत सख्त भाई क्या फाप तो नहीं लेना यार दारों को यही मिल रहा है आईफोन वाई फोन कैंसिल कितनी इसी से लाइट आ जाती है पार्टी में ये सब बातें करके एक्चुअली इसमें होगा बोल बीटा अभी मैं शॉर्ट फिल्म बनाता हूँ अबाउट गरीबी भाई ये सब मेरे से ज्यादा ना आते हैं क्या साफ है लोग Yeah, I got go. California institution. Wow. Oh, they went in and out. Oh. Oh. तो अभी हम कसरत कर रहे हैं क्यूँकी हमें चलना पसंद है हम बिल्कुल भी कैब के पैसे नहीं बचा रहे यहाँ पे रास्ते ऐसे है ऊपर की तरफ पूरे पहाड़ पे बनाए हुए शहर महिलाओं को एक्साइटमेंट लेवल देख रहे हो आप हॉलीडे पे अमेरिका एक जगह है जहाँ एक मिल्कशेक छह लोग पी सकते हैं आठ सौ रुपए का एक yeah. चाहे रात तक बैठे पूरा खत्म होना चाहिए काटोगे <laughs> तो मिल्कशेक बाहर आएगा महंगी चीजें हजम ही नहीं होती फेमस टूरिस्ट स्पॉट है क्योंकि वहाँ बहुत ही इंटरेस्टिंग आवाज आती है पानी की आवाज आती है बहुत बढ़िया आवाज आ रही है मेरे कान में थूक रहे सुना दो Sounds like someone peeing. I know. ऐसी आवाज सुननी होती तो अपने टॉयलेट के कमोड में चले जाते हैं। Exactly. यहाँ पे बस इतने के लिए हम दो हजार रुपए की कैब लेकर आए हैं। मिली है दो गधों से जो पानी की आवाज को टूरिस्ट स्पॉट समझ के यहाँ आए हैं। नहीं लेने यार कोई कूल शॉट्स। Oh, I've I've been here. Oh, wait, not the museum, but I've had the. हमें अपना वो घर का सब रेडी चलेगा। ये तो बोला भी ना जाए ये बोल के दिखा भाई क्रिश्चन वेगे जब भी कोई फॉरेन वर्ड बोला ना जाए बस एक्सेंट में बोलो लगता है सही होगा क्रिश्चन वेगे एक तो भाई नान को नान लिख रखा है भूख नहीं है बिल्कुल भी बस फ्री था इसलिए खा रहे हैं आपको पता है आपने अच्छी रिसर्च नहीं की है जब आप ब्रेड म्यूजियम घूमने आ रहे हो बनाए जो डंडे की तरह यूज हो सकता है अपने बच्चे को मारने के लिए आप देख सकते हैं कितना मजा आ रहा है हमें ब्रेड म्यूजियम में अब इन लोगों का ना बहुत प्रॉब्लम्स हो रही थी कि यार कोई ट्रैफिक जाम ही नहीं हो रहा गाड़ी तेजी तेज चल रही है डेवलपमेंट ही डेवलपमेंट है वेस्ट ही नहीं हो रहा टाइम तो इसलिए इन्होंने ये बना दिया 
Lombard Street. Yeah. problems now, ho, problems banani pad rahi hai. To abhi hum Union Square mein you appreciate it if you like full house, right? Kafi sari shopping. I think where they're at is where I did my uh, Shahid Kapoor thing. Indian Khana. Oh my god. North. India. Yeah. Yeah. Yay, LA. Is it raining? Hollywood Walk of Fame. So, Salman is here. Michael Jackson Bruce Lee is here. Jackie Chan is here. Mickey Mouse Shrek is I protest here. Doraemon and Sin Chan are here. Yes. Yes. It's so weird to see them in our home. Yeah. Like everywhere they go, we've been there. मधुमक्खी बन के क्या घूम रहे हैं खास बात कोई चप्पल भी नहीं है इसको स्टाइल नहीं पता है ये होता है टिकटॉकर स्टाइल छपड़ी मस्त वेस्ट हे अचारो डिड दैट आई डिड दैट या वीडियो था ये आई लव दिस टूर आई डोंट लाइक द किंग कॉन्ग पार्ट दोंग आई लाइक इट ऑल कर लिया हमने स्टूडियो टूर I don't know what that vlog is. Single rider? Yes, I don't like discrimination. Harry Potter, okay. I was like, what roller coaster is at Universal? You should have gone to Florida. It's a point. Butter beer is so good. Butter beer is so good. No, it's so good. I can't remember if I had it warm or cold. Get it warm. Now we're gonna have it again. Oh my god. Pandemic. I never saw that. I never saw these. Oh, what? I've never actually done the hike. Yeah, exactly. No hiking allowed to the Hollywood sign. Science थे वो सब fake थे वो यहाँ के रहने वाले लोगों ने लगाया वरना बहुत सारे tourists आ जाते थे और फिर उन्हें बहुत disturbance होती थी डराने के लिए वो सब लगाया but हम जानते हैं हमने research की भी है और भी लोग आते हैं ऐसे कोई Oh wow, I didn't 
Yeah, good. It's a good idea. What? <laughs> Hello, Hello, Hello. It looks like they chose the worst time of day to do this. Yeah. Oh my god. It's hot, you guys. Oh, food? <laughs> Two hours later. Oh my god. Man, they're determined. Oh, yeah. Is it Venice? <laughs> no, uh, Santa Monica. In GTA 5, it's Santa Monica? Oh, I guess it is Santa Monica, isn't it? It's both. But Yeah. 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 Coach. I can totally relate to this feeling. I mean, that's why I wanted to go to Seattle so bad, is because of infamous second son. Life is beautiful. Of course, beautiful. We have a lot of things to do. <laughs> oh god. The person number two. <laughs> what happened? Audio. What happened? Oh, they just their audio just cut out. They must have used music or something. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And maybe. Then, I think that, I think it's just and they just just decided to drop the audio. 
दूसरे देश की मिट्टी सोना नहीं उगले नहीं उगल सकते सिर्फ इंडिया अमीर लोग के सामने ये नाम खराब करते हुए प्लेटफॉर्म नहीं है मैडम वो बोरीवली स्टेशन अब सबसे बड़ा प्रॉब्लम ये है कि फ्लाइट में सोए या नहीं सोए देखो मैं तो नहीं सोने वाला बड़ी बड़ी बातें और बड़ा बात वाला मोमेंट <laughs> उतने सोने नहीं वाला था ना Oh, they're flying in a business class. Yeah, I mean, that's nice. Dope. Like to yeah. be able to recline like that. So dead. Finally, bus ghar pochne wale. I don't think हमने इतना लंबा break कभी लिया है. मतलब लंबे breaks हमने exam वगैरह के लिए लिया है जिसमें stress और ten times बढ़ जाता है. तो पहली बार एक अच्छा break लिया जहाँ मजा आया और अब काम करने का मन हो. हम सबको अब ये कुछ नया फॉर्म फिल करना पड़ रहा है है, 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 कब क्या है, अगर आप वायरस yeah. तो आपको बता देना है मेरा भी भर दे। oh, they bleeped out the तो virus. Did he give her, her, her fill out? Yeah, I think so. जैसे हमने इस फ्लाइट को लाइक दे दिया है आप लोग इस वीडियो को लाइक करना मत भूलना एंड विल सी यू गाइस इन द नेक्स्ट वन Wow. <laughs> 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 Is that you two? I never saw that. Oh, I, I don't know. I think maybe they were there for like some sort of YouTube event or oh, something. Oh, gotcha. But that's super cool. Like it's fun to see what people choose to do when they visit a city that you're familiar with. It immediately illustrates why I tell people not to visit Los Angeles though. There's nothing to do here. It's yeah. a it's a shithole. It's just a shithole. Like there's nothing to do here. You go, what do you what should I do when I go uh, eat? That's it. That's all you can do. Yeah. Is I go mean, and eat. Universal Studios is one that I always recommend. Yeah, Universal Studios, but like even that, like why would you come to LA for Universal Studios? You got Florida. Universal Studios Florida is the shit. But Universal Studios is the original in LA. Doesn't compare. Disneyland sucks compared to Disney World in Florida. Okay, the coolest thing about the Universal Studios they didn't go to in LA yeah. is that you get to go on the studio tour, and it is an actual working studio, so you can see things being shot, and you can see the studios that or, or the sets that that were actually used on films and TV shows that you watch. I think that is so cool. Ah, uh, you get over it fast. I don't know. I like every time I do it. I'm like, yeah, that's great. I love it. You're a foreigner, though. Like, I grew up with that. I'm like, yeah, whatever. Look, can, oh. can we get to the King Kong? Now it's 3D King Kong, which sucks. We went to Universal Studios with Tushar Lal, mm -hmm. and I remember on the tour, you and I had just done it like two weeks ago or something yeah. like that, right? On the tour, we the Fast and Furious part, and I they didn't talk about it. I wish they did. On the Fast and Furious part of the tour, it was so loud. It was aggressively loud that it hurt my ears. And so we had Tushar Lal on the ride with us. And the thing about it is, he's from India, and so he's experienced Indian movies and like the voluminous sound of people screaming at Indian theaters. That's his experience. I had earplugs handy to give to him so we could, you know, go on this ride and he doesn't have to damage his eardrums. And I remember at the end of the ride, he was like, "That was loud." <laughs> I was like, yeah, was I'm like, loud. I told you, dude. Like, what do you think? I'm messing around? Yeah. And then when we left him, he was picking out his Harry Potter outfit. Yeah, it was cool to see it from their eyes. They, oftentimes, when you're a tourist in a city, you will do things that the locals won't ever do. Mm -hmm. Like, for instance, when I went to New York, uh, I was on top of the um, top of the Rock or something like that. The, the, the Rockefeller, Rockefeller Center. Center. Yeah, that's what they call top of the Rock. And then, like across the way, you could see the Empire State Building, or whatever. And I'd ask people who work there, I'm like, Have you ever been to the top of that one? He's like, No. Like, why not? Like, why would we do that? That's stupid. Like, we live here. I'm like, you don't really appreciate your area when you live there for some reason. When I was in uh, uh, Seattle, I was talking to this girl. We went on like a date or something like that. And right. she's like, what are you gonna do? I said, I'm gonna go, I don't know, touristy stuff. And so I, I went to this building and I told her about it. And it's a beautiful view. Like you could see all of Seattle. She's like, you're where? Oh, that's like a touristy thing. I'm like, yeah, cause I'm a tourist. Uh, what you think you were looking at? <laughs> like. Uh, come on now. By the same token, sometimes you end up doing things that maybe aren't so exciting that sound exciting on paper. When I went to England to uh, Stonehenge, that's well outside of London. It's a train ride. Yeah, yeah it's you know, far. you you see London from like you see like how it gets progressively worse into in the ghetto, and then it's all just hills for a long time. Yeah, until beautiful you get, countryside. It's beautiful countryside until you get to Stonehenge, and you get there and you're like, is it? It's just a bunch of rocks. Wow, well, that was uh, that was exciting, mm -hmm. exhilarating. Stonehenge, that's great. And so like they're doing the thing and. 
like they see the pipes with the sound of the water and they actually paid to go there and whatnot. And it's like kind of underwhelming. And I feel like Los Angeles in general is underwhelming. Like, what can you do? Look at the stars on the sidewalk. Yeah, and I, I remember the first time I came here and uh, that was one of the first things I wanted to do. And my best friend was living here at the time and she was like, what do you want to do? And, well, actually the first thing I wanted to do was have a, a meal in Thai town. So that's what we did. We had some noodles. And then afterwards I was like, oh yeah, I really want to see the Walk of Fame. And she was like, okay. I just want to warn you, don't get your hopes up. Don't set your expectations too high because Hollywood is a shithole. And I'm like, I'm sure it's not that bad. And then I got there and I was like, wow, no kidding. Yeah, it is a shithole. <laughs> like, it's just full of homeless people and lots and lots of tourists and it's kind of dirty. Yeah, it's kind of dirty. It is dirty. Hollywood's dirty and full of weirdos. Don't take pictures with the costume fellows yeah, because don't. then they ask for money. I mean, if you want to give them money because you want that opportunity, it's fine and all, but like, it's just so underwhelming. Hollywood glamorizes Hollywood really, really well. But you get there and it's just not that great. But the thing you were talking about, the, the studio lot tour, we did that for the long run when we did the uh, uh, the American Horror Stories. Like, we actually walked around that. That was super cool, though. We had the opportunity to just walk around it instead of being in the tram. I was just giving Mary Black an opportunity to zoom in on my face so you could see how underwhelming it was. It, it was cool! It was all right. I thought it, we got to like walk around in the clock tower part where they had the clock tower from Back to the Future. Come on now. Is that not cool? Is that not cool, guys? That's so cool. The thing I related to the most though was the his, his reference to Grand Theft Auto oh, yeah. because I get that feeling. Totally. We went to Thailand. I wanted to see the Sagat stage. Yes. You know, the, the sleeping Buddha. Yeah. Leaning, lay bad, laid back Buddha. <laughs> Laying Buddha. Buddha got laid. What's it called? <laughs> <laughs> What's it sleeping called? Sleeping Buddha. Leaning, leaning. Leaning Buddha. And then when I went to Seattle, it was because of Infamous Second Son for PlayStation 4. And then uh, I went to New Orleans, excited because of Infamous 2. It was all based on locations that I'm familiar with. All the stuff in Grand Theft Auto 5, I'm like, I live here. I see this shit all the time. It's not exciting for me. It's exciting for me when you play the game and I get to see how they interpret that in the game so I can understand that excitement on the other side. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. But I totally relate to that experience. You know, that feeling of like, oh my God, this is just like the nostalgia of the game. The thing that I need to call out about this video though is the editing. This is a 20 minute video mm -hmm. and the editing on this was like, boom, 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 yeah. boom, to keep you engaged with it and, and keep the ha-has going, the music drop-ins. Like they were doing a very clever use of the music where it's there for just long enough to not get a copyright claim, although they messed up once because they had to dip the sound completely there. I imagine what happened was they got a copyright claim on the video. After so they published after it. After they published the video and it didn't show itself right away so they had to delete it mm -hmm. later on. Because YouTube system is kind of frustrating like that where you'll upload a video and- And you, you wait. You wait, yeah, you wait. And you're like, is you, it okay? Everything seems fine. And then cool. YouTube system is constantly checking your video all the time. Like, why? You did it the one time, leave it alone. Like, why do you keep looking for shit? <laughs> It's fine, YouTube, it's fine. Stop, stop, stop investigating it. Music company will be all right with those few seconds that were used. Jesus Christ. But anyway, they did a clever use of uh, music throughout the video, like referencing stuff, but the editing was just fast. I'm yeah. thinking, how much footage did they shoot? So much. And, and how much did they edit down and like finding those moments and then like crafting each of those moments and like the little slam-ins with the visual effects and the titles and the, like the cut to like, I'm not gonna sleep on this flight and he's sleeping. Like that's yeah. all very clever stuff. Yeah. I don't know how much of it was planned. And maybe some of it was improvised, some of it was natural, some of it was planned. And then like the constant jokes, like the, you, you saw at least a hundred jokes in here. And there was probably a thousand that didn't make the cut. I just want to express my immense appreciation for the work that went into this vlog. You know? Yeah, vlogs are hard work. I find them incredibly overwhelming, especially when you have probably the the amount of content that they must have shot over you know two cities, San Francisco and Los Angeles. Well, I think this could have easily been two videos. Yeah. In all honesty, like this was overproduced. They worked really, really hard on this video, way more than I see other vlogs. It was constantly on point in terms of the editing. And I'm like, you know, it's one thing to shoot the stuff, like I'm watching their Hollywood stuff that, that that walk up the hill, and I just feel bad for them. I'm like, I know what's yeah, coming. Yeah, I would have told you. I know what's just, coming. If you'd have just emailed us, if you'd have just called us, we would have been like, dude, don't even bother. Yeah. Just go to um, the Hollywood and Highland Mall. That's what I tell all my friends. So you go to the mall, go upstairs to the bridge. There's a really great area. You can stand there, and you get a picture with the Hollywood sign in the background, and you never even have to take that hike. What was the commercial I did for the airline that goes to? 
Was it, uh, Emirates. Emirates, that's right, Emirates. That's what they flew. Ever since I, I, I did that commercial, it's been my dream to fly a business class or first class on Emirates. It's so expensive. You know, if you're going off of Jabby's uh, net worth is $3 million <laughs> video, you're like, oh, that's a drop in the bucket for Jabby. Uh, but that's obviously all false information that's spread around the internet. And apparently, I think, I think Slaypoint made a similar video that I want to react to. They're calling him like one of the richest people on YouTube and whatever. It's like, I think he's making fun of it. It's misinformation. It's just full of misinformation. Like, it doesn't make any sense to in, in real world sense, right? They got to fly first class or business class yeah. on Emirates. And it's just like, you see what it's like. Ugh. It's so appealing. I cannot wait to do that someday. I, I keep hoping that Emirates will find me and be like, do you want to fly? Yes. Whatever the end of that question is, I don't give a shit. Yes. Economy class on No. American Airlines. Oh, shit. Why are you talking to me, Emirates, about American Airlines? Okay, so in these 20 minutes, they did a good job of making you feel the adventure. Yes. And making you feel like you were part of it and living vicariously through them. Yeah. You know, it was really, really nice. Super fun. The only thing I wish, I suppose, is that they were shooting with like a lightweight DSLR as opposed to their phone. But oh. I get it. I get it, huh? Was this just all their phone? I think it was just with their phone. I might be mistaken. It might have been a DSLR, but it looks like it was just done with their phone. I mean, doing that hike with a camera would probably be brutal, but like, I mean, they did a fantastic job. I liked how they were making fun of themselves about the, <laughs> the bread factory. Like, yeah, the bread music. Like, <laughs> you know what, like that sourdough is super famous. And when I went to San Francisco with my sister, that was one of the things that she researched. We didn't do the museum because like a bread museum, are you serious? But we definitely had some clam chowder and a sourdough mm -hmm. bread bowl and it was amazing. Yeah. So, yeah. If you guys ever do an international flight, always have things to keep you occupied. Yes. Like those nine Books. hours, you, you got to have a Kindle or a book or a video game, something like try to get something to keep yourself occupied because you will lose your mind. Battery packs and chargers, you guys. Those nine hours that they were in their layover, must have felt like 20 hours. It must have felt like so much longer than nine hours. Well, this is what makes me think that they must have been sponsored or whatever by YouTube because who in their right mind chooses a flight with a nine hour layover? Don't do it, guys. I always take into account how long the layover is. Like whenever I'm choosing a flight to go back home, I will check and go for the one with the least amount of layover, like an hour or two, maybe three. If it's four or five hours, I'm like, dude, you're pushing it. What am I gonna do at the airport except for spend money? Yeah. <laughs> and the self-deprecating humor in the in the vlog is also excellent. Yeah. Yeah, so overall, this was just a solid vlog. Definitely one of the best that I've seen on YouTube, especially because of the editing. I guess, I mean, the comedy is, goes without saying, but the editing is just on point. Like, it's a 20 minute video and it keeps moving. Like, yeah. it's a lot of work. So uh, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Hopefully you enjoyed some of that. If you haven't already subscribed to Slaypoint, please do so. They're almost at 3 million subscribers. Yes. So I know that if like the views, if each person who is viewing this video subscribes to Slaypoint, they'll hit 3 million. Because this video is easily gonna get, I'm pretty sure, based just off the last video, although that was a very specialty video, mm. the Binode video. Oh my God. I'm sure if you scroll down right now, all the it's comments are Binode. Binode, yep. Hi, Binode. Go ahead, we'll give you a chance. Go ahead. Yeah, it's cute, mm. isn't it? Mm. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Thank you again, Slate Point, for allowing us to react to this. Very, very much appreciated. Check out a chart, Kirk, on the social media, you guys, as well as the jabs, if you feel like doing that. Uncle Jabs, I had the jabs store over here. Um, all right.